Well, good morning, guys. It is now October 1st, and uh, I ended up sleeping in this morning. It's about, uh, what time is it now, actually? It's about 10 o'clock right now, so I had a nice long sleep, which was <laughs> long overdue, considering I kayaked uh, around 30 kilometers yesterday by accident, but <laughs> it's okay. It was a good adventure. So today's going to be a little bit more mellow. I'm going for a quick hike in this area. I'm going to have some lunch up there. And uh, then from there, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. All right, let the hike begin. Okay, well, I'm off on my hike now. I'm uh, not going for a super long hike, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to get out and uh, yeah, take in some of the views. Somehow this bridge feels kind of sketchy here. It just feels kind of spongy, so yeah, hopefully I don't fall through here. Now what's interesting about this trail here, I was looking at it on the map, and it actually winds all the way to Tadosac from here, so pretty long distance. It takes about 30 minutes to uh, drive from Tadosac to here, so it would likely be a multi-day trip if you were to do it. So I keep coming upon these uh, signs along the way. Looks like there used to be a little village here, so it's kind of cool. It looks like I've come up on something here. I'm not sure if it's a viewpoint or what. I might as well check it out. So it looks like it just goes down to the beach, so we'll keep moving on from here. This beautiful walkway here it winds its way down. I'm just going to see if this is a good boundage point. All right, well, this is a pretty perfect spot as you can see here. I've spotted the whale right over there, all the way over to there, kind of in this region. So definitely it's possible he could come by over here and I could get some actually good pictures because this thing zooms in crazy far. With a nice sturdy tripod like this, you can actually get some good results. So fingers crossed. So for now, I'm just going to be relaxing here and uh, yeah, maybe having some uh, lunch in a little bit here. information about uh, belugas here and how they were uh, how they were framed as white demons back in the day so in the 1920s and 30s there was a big extermination campaign they uh, they had and there were only about 1100 left in the early 2000s from about 10,000 individuals before the 1900s so this is why they're protected so much. Something I just learned about the uh, belugas. Apparently, um, you can tell uh, their age by how uh, how pale they are. So, when whales are uh, when belugas are first born, they start kind of a pale gray, and then as they grow older, they uh, become more and more uh, white. And when they're completely white, that's when they're ready to reproduce. So, quite interesting. Well, this is quite a beautiful hike. It's a bit of a climb, but compared to that 1,000 meter one I did at the start of this trip, if you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe. I have all the links for every part of this series in the description below. I've seen a lot of crazy mushrooms along this hike. Well, I don't think I could have found a more tranquil spot to have my uh, lunch here. Just uh, cooking up some chili here. You can see, this is my setup. I just have a little propane uh, cooker here, wire, it all fits into that uh, that one uh, pot basically, so it's very, very compact and you can easily hike it up to beautiful places like this and have a nice meal. So as you can see behind me, the rain is now moving in, it looks like a lot of rain, so the time has come to pack up and uh, start heading back to the last spot where I had uh, some shelter. Well, I'm on the descent now, it's too bad that uh, the rain had to move in, but what can you do? Yeah, this is a way longer hike than I remembered, but it's okay. It's good exercise. Well, I feel I have experienced pretty much everything I wanted to experience in this part of Saguenay Fjord. So 
now the plan is I'm going to go back to Tadosak and kind of just explore around the uh, town for a little bit. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and spot a whale from shore. Hey, back to Tadosak we go. Goodbye, Saguenay Fjord National Park. As I'm getting back into Tadosak here, you can see there's a runaway, uh, runaway truck lane. And a few years ago, there was a horrific incident here where an RV uh, lost their brakes down this big hill leading into Tadosak. And uh, they basically crashed into the ferry as it was leaving. And I think uh, one guy died and another person was seriously injured. So it was not a good, uh, not a good situation for anyone. So it's a bit of a steep hill and uh, definitely one you wanna, you wanna test your brakes on and make sure everything's good. It's quite a view from here though. But this is where you wanna test your brakes. <laughs> I have disc brakes though, so it's pretty unlikely that uh, they would fail on me, but hey, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. 